Hey everyone, so I'm gonna give you a different point of view for this video and let me know if you enjoy this and you want more of these types of videos. So today I'm talking about layering and the ideal lengths you need for certain types of haircuts. So if you look at this haircut, and this is the haircut tutorial I did for Russell Adler from Black Ops, which you can search from a couple of videos I did ago, and it's a basic heavily layered haircut. A little bit heavy, deep side parting. But what's unique about this is I want you to really pay, pay close attention to the very, very front here. And if you notice, when I comb this down, everybody wants to know, oh, how long does it need to be? What should I do? Blah, blah, blah. Well, the thing is, is in order to have layers that flow back, okay, layers that need to flow back, they have to be long enough. So the longer this is here, then the, the further back it's going to go as far as the layers. So when I brush this down, you can see it's about to the bridge of the nose. And you see how it jumps back up? Now watch this. When I comb this back, there's the length right there. So it all sweeps. So if you're somebody who wants to have that nice flow like you see here, then you need to make sure that the hair is long enough. Same thing on this side. Now keep in mind, yes, this is a you know, deep parting, a, a severe side part, but it's the same thing. Now if I wanted this to be feathered a lot more and I wanted to see more of this higher up, if you notice this length, look how long this is. <laughs> this is like pretty long here. And I kept that because that's the way the hairstyle is. But if you wanted to have this less heavy, then you need to cut these layers shorter. However, if you have the hair type, and this is very common where the hair just sticks straight out, if you cut this too short, it's gonna be very, very pokey like this. It's gonna stick straight out. So you need to have your hair longer like this if your hair sticks out. And then what you need to do is thin this, right? You have to thin this out into here with thinning shears or a razor, and your hair professional can do this, okay? But you need to leave this longer. If you wanna have a side parting, but you want this to be a lot shorter, keep in mind the shorter the hair, right? Unless your hair naturally goes this way and you've been wearing it with a severe side part for many, many years, it's just gonna, it's not gonna have that much of a parting and it may come down and fall forward. That's where you need, you're gonna need to have, you know, spike it, you're gonna have to put some product in it, you're gonna have to blow dry it over a bit and have a little more control. Now, keep in mind, this is on, perfectly 100% straight hair. This mannequin has human hair. It's not synthetic, it's human hair. It's 100% it's straight, and yes, there is a lot of it. So this is great for someone who has very thick, straight hair. But keep in mind that the layers, all of this is layered. When I pull this hair out, see how it just falls down naturally. I, I really would probably think that when you're getting your hair cut at the barber or hair salon, they are layering it for a shape like this, right? I mean, it's not like people don't layer hair, don't know how to layer hair, but it just depends on the type of look that you're looking for. If you don't layer this, it's gonna fall very, very flat, and a lot of times it's gonna constantly fall on your face like this. So if you're somebody who doesn't have your hair like layered throughout the top here, the chances are is that it's gonna constantly fall down in your face, right? And you're gonna get annoyed. So look, look and see how long this is on top. And layering is a technique that is designed to remove weight. So when you see people cutting hair, they're gonna hold it straight up and they're gonna cut it straight across. Depending on how short you want your hair will determine how short the layers or how long the layers should be. It's really, really important that when you are layering, you keep that in mind because everything has to flow perfectly. And I have another mannequin here that I'm gonna show you, which is, you know, this is the mannequin that you've all seen a million times, the very, very popular, you know, TikToker hairstyle. And I know a lot of you are like, oh, that's the haircut that I want. Well, keep in mind, look at this. This comes down to the bridge of the nose, once again, all the way down here. So if your hair is only a half an inch, then don't even attempt to try to get this style. Your hair, look how long this is. 
your hair needs to be really, really long for this to have you know, the fluff and the, the volume and the texture. And the way that I style this, a lot of times people say, oh, but Salon Guy, you know, I purchased your Tidal Wave and I can't do it. Well, the thing is, is it's not just a product. You have to have the right hair type. You have to have the right hair texture. You need to make sure that you know how to style the hair properly. A lot of it's technique, but look how long this is. I'm literally lifting this up real time like this and you're seeing all of this hair is layered all in through here. There it is. In order to get this look, your hair needs to be cut the proper way. And this is something where I'd suggest going to a barber that knows how to work with hair, knows how to layer hair, right? Or a hairstylist, but I can almost, you know, unfortunately, a lot of hairstylists don't keep up with some of the trends, and if they do, that's awesome. But there are a lot of, a lot of outdated hairstylists who know nothing about this trend and they don't even know how to achieve this or what this even is. So <laughs> make sure that when you're going to someone that they are keeping up with the trends, maybe find a stylist who's a bit younger or you know, they feel confident, oh yeah, I can do this. Because in reality, all this is is a layered haircut, right? All this does is come down to here, it's all layered, but it's just the way you style it, right? And a lot of times people may say, oh, this is too long on top, it's too long. Well, yeah, but that's the look. That's the look, you know? And you notice when I do this, the hair is fully dry. Yes, there is tidal wave, my sea salt spray in the hair, but I'm gonna push it back like this, and I'm gonna rotate my hands like this, like in a circular motion, and then I'm gonna pull my hands away, and then I'm gonna start to kind of piece this out a little bit like that. And then you can go and you can adjust however you want. I'm also gonna use this. This is my Locked Excel hairspray. So. My regular locked hairspray, the original, unfortunately, it's gone out of stock and I don't foresee getting it back for like at least five, six months, unfortunately. But this is actually, in my opinion, better because it has a little more hold, it smells amazing, and I think it's just, in my opinion, better as far as performance. So you're gonna spray it on and it is a little, it's not as fully matte right away but you have to get used to working with it. However, it's gonna provide you with a little more hold. And then once it dries and settles in the hair, you're gonna have that matte finish. But to me, you're getting more value out of this because it's, you're actually able to get more hold. The original locked hairspray, it was nice, but I don't know, I mean, it just didn't have that much hold. And you need this to hold in place. <laughs> so if you wanna purchase this or my product, Tidal Wave, right here, or you can get the, the full TikToker hairstyle kit. You can use code YouTube20, and you can go to shop.thesalonguy.com. Let me know if you like this kind of video because I can do tons of these, these POV types of styles. I had a lot of fun doing this, and let me know your thoughts. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon.